Think back to draft night last summer. Who was the person, Luca, most responsible for you being there on that stage that night? Uh, I would say my team from Real Madrid because we had to win all the games to be there, you know. If there was like serious, if I wouldn't, if we would have lost one, I wouldn't be in the NBA and the draft. So I would say my team. You don't think they would have found you? I mean, they would have found me, but I wasn't, I wasn't going to be there to make this bad experience. What about you, Marvin? I'd say my, my, my parents, really. Um, they, growing up, they made sure that I had everything I needed. Not only me, but my brothers. Um, you know, going to practice and doing things to help me get to where I wanted. They knew where I wanted to be and what, what my dreams were, and they did everything in their power to help me. So, um, I'll say my parents. DeAndre? Oh, yeah, my mom. Uh, <clears throat> uh, she's my best friend, my rock, my business partner. Yeah, so, I mean, she instilled a lot of wisdom in me. Um, we came from nothing, and, you know, we're just trying to maintain this lifestyle we're in right now and just, you know, just work our way around it. I'll probably say my parents, but that's a given, you know, from the jump. And then any coach I had along the way, AAU, uh, probably most specifically, you know, Michigan State, you know, Izzo instilled that, that toughness in me, that work ethic, you know, ramped everything up. Uh, you got to, it takes a lot to play for him. So I think, you know, just the way he expects out of you on a day-to-day -day basis is like, it's crazy. And sometimes, you know, you don't think you can do it. And, you know, he just makes sure you, you know, you keep pushing, so. How much thought do you give to the responsibility you have as a, a number one, number two, number three, number four pick in the league. I mean, it's definitely something I love to do. So, I mean, I don't mind waking up in the morning and doing it. Third leading scorer among NBA rookies. Well, it's DeAndre Ayton. Ayton, nice soft touch on the turnaround. Gives it to Ayton, goes in for a win. Bam, slam. I just compare it to college a lot. Me not waking up mad going to class, you know, knowing I it's gonna be a pop quiz or, you know, a lot of homework on the line. So me just working on my craft every morning is something to wake up to. And yeah, I just, you know, work with a passion. Obviously there's some times where I'm not feeling it or my body's aching or whatever, but I just, you know, find that motivation, you know, to remember where I came from, just to keep going. Yeah, I, I'm, I agree, man. Um, for me personally, I think um, if, I, if, if I think about all that, it'll take away from what I'm trying to do and what I'm, what our team is trying to do, and, and it's just too much, too much to think about and handle while you're trying to go out and do your job every day. And um, so for me, it's just, you know, like DeAndre said, you know, waking up every every morning, knowing that you're doing something you love doing, and you have the opportunity to be able to do it, especially at this level, it's something that I, I still, you know, can't believe happened, and I can't put into words. So, you know, I just try to go out and play, have fun, and do whatever I can, and enjoy it. Plus, no test taking. Yeah, no tests, no no essays, yeah. no none of that. Jaron going in deep. Yes, and a foul. It doesn't really matter what you do as long as you live in the gym. You live in the gym, you're prepared for whatever. You're prepared for a, a role that's, you know, you're supposed to take over or a role where, you know, you're just supposed to do whatever it takes to help the team win. So as long as you live in the gym, you're prepared for whatever's thrown at you. If you think what's worked best for you is to not think about it, I would not think about it. But if you, you know, want that and you want to take that on, you should, you know, embrace it and, you know, be ready for it. It's a, it's a blessing, bro. Luca, do you think uh -oh. about that responsibility? I would say the same thing. <laughs> no, I, I don't think I don't think about it. You just play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go out there, have fun. That's all that matters. Six tenths of a second. Brunson will bring out a bounce. Oh, oh Doncic! Can you believe that? How about that with the lob hung in the air and just flipped it softly off the glass? Here he goes and put it in the book. Oh boy! Wow! What a dunk by the rookie, Jaron Jackson Jr. Jaron, what has been the biggest on-court challenge making the transition from NCAA Division I to the NBA? Um, you know, probably a combination of speed and strength because everything's at a higher level. You know, you're playing against grown men, like 
grown, grown, grown. So like, and they're yeah, grown, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and everybody's, uh, the game, you know, everything's going a lot faster at first. But, you know, around now, like, I think stuff's been slowing down, you know, for everybody sitting here, definitely. Um, you can just see it, you know, at first, you know, things are probably a little bit faster, but you know, as you just get more experience, everything, it cools off. Yeah, the call for that, uh, first game, first pre my first piece of the game was uh, against Phoenix. Keeled over on the angle left side, down to Bagley, baseline 15-footer, he hits it. I just remember how fast everything is going. I was I was catching the ball, trying to make moves too fast. It wasn't wasn't like letting everything calm down and slow down. But like now, over the last month or the last you know few games we had, I feel like the game slowed down a lot. Um, you know, just being able to see everything um, that I see things that I didn't see before in previous games, and you know, it just gets better every day. And uh, I think just you know I, that's something that 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 I've noticed uh, for me uh, personally. There's no way of knowing their experience as college players coming from college to the NBA, but you've been a pro for years. Do you feel like that was a significant advantage coming over here, playing all the games, playing against grown men, as they were talking about? I would say a little bit, but what is here is like the game is way faster here and the, the physical, you know. Ten left on the shot clock. Defender riding Luka to the basket. Oh! A lot of people, strong, strong people, so it's high, you know. It, the game here is more physical, for sure. You said recently it may actually be easier to score for you in the NBA than in Europe. Why is that? It's because of the rules. In Europe, uh, the the court is, is smaller, and you don't have the defensive three seconds, so there's like three people in the paint every time. You both mentioned strength of opposing players. Who have you run up against? You went, whoa. That guy's that guy's really strong. Steven Adams. Steven Adams. That was a big he was man. I like oh, Steven Adams. Just rebounding down there with him. And wrestling him is like he sometimes wants his teammates to miss. Why he's begging for them to just get the ball and not to go in. Yeah, so he can just make it easy to get the board. But yeah, I love playing against him. Oh, he's so good. Can you see Adams spinning? He's very physical with the basketball. That time he went in right into the chest and body, and that's that low post presence you need. You just you gotta do your work early, you know. You can't, you can't. Uh, <laughs> you gotta, that's true though. You gotta box, you gotta box out like before the shot goes up. Honestly, you, you can't, or he's getting it. If you get to that spot, it's over. Anybody else in that category? Yeah, I mean strength wise, yeah, but I mean, um, I embrace it. You know, I, I love the physicality. Aiton banging down inside with. Dudley and then turns and slams it over the top of him. You know, yeah, I couldn't get to hit people in college. Cause like I keep getting offensive fouls in college. And yeah, I finally get to do what I want. For you guys, for the college guys in particular, you're talking about tons more games, obviously, over the course of a season and, and in individual weeks as well. How tough is it to shake the little injuries that pile up when you've got another game the next night or two nights later and you know there's another one after that? Treatment-wise, it's definitely better. You know, they're on you more. Uh, you know, they have the best of the best, and they know their stuff. I mean, is it a shock physically at all? Like, oh, I got to play again. Probably back-to-backs, you know. That's, that was tough when I first, I was like, No, oh, the first one, yeah. Because at the first, first you don't, you don't really notice real it. Tough. I didn't really notice it until I got in the game, because, like, first win is always hard, and then, like, then I really felt, like, the, the day before, I was like, yo, my legs are going stupid like it's crazy but you know that's what it's about you push through it back to backs and stuff you love back to backs no hate him my season was so long so i didn't have much time in the summer so i'm waiting for this summer yeah what's good what's ahead this summer i'll take more break <laughs> it's gonna be good <laughs>